Hello and welcome to the BMC Atrium Core CMDB video series. This video is an overview of the new dashboard for CMDB. Let us now explore the dashboard of the new CMDB. After you access the CMDB login screen, enter your credentials and click sign in. As the configuration manager, when you log into the home page, your first concern is the overall health of CMDB. The new dashboard provides two useful metrics for the CMDB health. The integrity metric captures the orphan and duplicate CIs in CMDB. Click the metric to drill down into the integrity issues. You get actionable feedback in the form of recommended actions that you must perform to resolve the issues. The completeness health metric captures the CIs with missing attributes. You can view these attributes and see what recommended actions you must perform to resolve them. Green represents the percentage of successful CIs, while red represents the percentage of CIs with exceptions in the production dataset. Now we look at the new data flow section of the dashboard. Data sources is a new concept introduced in this release. As the configuration manager, based on inputs from stakeholders, you finalize the data sources. Data sources maps a CI discovery tool to a dataset. The discovery tools such as BMC Discovery or SCCM populate data into the datasets. You can add a new dataset using the Add Dataset button. Similarly, you can add a new source of data using the Add Data Sources button. In this component, you see the number of CIs available in each dataset, the number of CIs pending for normalization, identification and merge, the failed CIs, and so on. Back in the data flow section, the imported CIs component provides you a count of new and unique CIs imported into CMDB. Here, you can see the total number of jobs used for importing data into CMDB, which are split into executed jobs and pending jobs. The normalized CIs component makes the imported data consistent. For example, one discovery tool may discover a software product as MS Word, while another tool may discover the same product as Microsoft Word. This data must be represented in a consistent way across all datasets. You can dive into the normalization engine, monitor jobs, track the last run or pending jobs, view the failed and successful CIs, and drill down into the failed ones to take recommended actions. Further, you can create normalization jobs from the same component. Note that in the jobs ribbon component, the values are runtime, but in the CIs and relationships ribbons, the values are generated by the data sources utility. This message shows when the server last ran the utility. The next component, reconciliation, reconciles the data into the production dataset. For example, one discovery tool may be good at discovering software attributes, while another tool may be good at discovering hardware attributes. The reconciliation engine extracts the best information and places it in the production dataset. CMDB uses a progressive disclosure model where you can drill down into the exceptions and perform the recommended actions. You can create a reconciliation job from this component and add the identification, merge and purge activities for a job. Note that in the jobs ribbon component, the values are runtime, but in the CIs and relationships ribbons, the values are generated by the data sources utility. This message shows when the server last ran the utility. The CI updates component shows the unique and successfully updated CIs because you do not want the entire enterprise data into CMDB. You need to know only the changes in the production dataset and which CIs and relationships are marked as deleted. Finally, the consumers component is designed to track the entities that use the production dataset. Note that in several screens, you have the option to filter the data specific to a dataset or a time period, such as last seven days. 
This release has a totally revamped and simplified configuration process. You can now configure parameters for all components from a single configurations menu. First, you can configure the dashboard and data sources utilities here. The dashboard utility enables you to configure the refresh interval for the health metrics. The data sources utility controls the refresh interval for the CIs and relationships data shown in various ribbons. Next, configuring the core CMDB components like the CMDB engine is simplified. From a single screen, you can set the parameters for the server, threads and logs. In CMDB services, under dashboard utility, if you select the checkbox Enable Duplicate Processing, then the utility enables the processing of duplicate CIs. But note that when you run the utility for the first time with this selection, the execution time may be substantial, affecting database performance. BMC recommends that if you want to enable this checkbox, then have your first run of this utility during non-peak hours. Further, Several normalization configurations are done from this menu, such as creating a mapping for the product catalog, configuring normalization features such as version rollup, suite rollup, and so on, configuring datasets, and adding class configurations. For reconciliation, you have several handy configurations. For identification rules, you can view the standard out-of-the-box rules that ship with BMC CMDB, and you can configure the custom identification rules that you apply in a custom reconciliation job. You can configure the qualification rules for reconciliation and the precedence exceptions that are applied in reconciliation jobs. Finally, CMDB provides a new walkthroughs widget. This widget, available on several screens, helps onboarding of new users by providing real-time steps to perform tasks. For example, you can click the Creating a Normalization Job option, which will explain the task through a series of steps and clicks. The widget also has links to the latest CMDB videos. Thank you for watching this video. We hope you are excited about the new BMC CMDB just as we are.